Hello and welcome to JG3 Reviews. My name is James and I review pens, fountain pens, ink, paper, all that related uh, area of things, genre of things. Today I have a fountain pen. That's a shocker, I know. But this is a Wing Sung, another shocker. I know. Uh, and this is the 698, which some of you already have and were asking me to review. And it's been on my list for a really long time. And actually, this one has been on the way to my house for a very long time. It quite literally took a slow boat from China. Uh, back, I ordered this back as things were starting to lift there and shipments were being made again. But it took a, just a very long time to get here. But finally, I've, I've got it. And I'm going to do a first impressions review. Normally, I like to write with a pen for weeks before I do a review. But this one, because of the filling mechanism and everything else, I, we're going to open this thing out of the box and do this together here during this review. So let's split the camera and dive into the Wingsung 698. This is a piston filling pen, so no cartridges or uh, converters or anything like that are necessary. You will need bottled ink to use it, uh, just like with a, a Twisby pen or something like that. And uh, it is a demonstrator. You can get it in solid black, I know for certain. I'm not sure if there are other colors, but I'll be sure and include a photo up here uh, just to make sure that you know kind of what colors are available. The uh, This one comes in retail packaging, which a lot of Wing Sung pens don't. They'll come in just a plastic sleeve with a, you know, uh, a skew sticker and things like that. But this one actually came in retail packaging. It is, and this is also so unusual. It's a medium. Most of these pins are fine. Uh, most of the vast majority, no, all of it. Let me take that back. All of my wing songs are either fine or extra fine until this one. And that was part of the reason I bought this pin with a medium. I wanted to see what their medium nibs are like. I really like their fine nib and uh, have enjoyed pins with that. So this is a new one for me. It is a demonstrator, and you know if you watch this channel much that I kind of tend to like demonstrators, and they kind of pile up around here like crazy. <laughs> I do like them. We'll take a look at those for a size comparison here later, but I have a lot of demonstrator pins, and I like them. I, I like to be able to just take a glance and know. I'm going to I'm gonna turn the camera off while I unload this from the package so you don't have to hear all that, but um, I, I like to be able to grab a de demonstrator pen knowing ahead of time exactly what ink or shade or color or whatever is in it so they're very handy for that so let me get this out of the package and we'll look a little bit closer all right so i spared you all that noise and it does come with instructions uh, how to fill the fountain pen and all of that good stuff so that also not that common with a wing sung pen or chinese fountain pens as a just in general in this price range so it is again a clear acrylic pen with a fairly standard let's take a look at that nib a fairly standard wing sung super quality nib steel nib uh, this one is medium as i mentioned and with their usual uh, clear uh, feed not all their pens come with a clear feed but a lot of them do most of mine have and a clear section so if you're wanting to know how a pen works that's that's the fun of a demonstrator this one when you go to uh Fill it up. Of course, it's a piston filler, so you're going to screw the top here, and that will push the air out and then pull the ink in. When you do, make sure, not all pins are like this, but some are, when you go to fill it, pull this out. See that little notch there that fits into the, into the chrome ring? You pull that out and then turn. If you don't if you don't pull that out first, you'll end up unscrewing this ring, and it, it just won't work quite right. So <laughs> ask me how I know. So pull that out and turn that counterclockwise and the piston goes down, pushing the air out. And then of course the other way brings the ink in and we'll, we'll fill it up here in just a second. And then you snap it back into, I turned it too far, back into that notch and you're good to go. So very simple mechanism. It holds a lot of ink and that's why a lot of people appreciate a good piston filler pen. Pretty reliable and these are made well. I find that the workmanship on this one is good. The materials are quite good. The fit and finish uh, all seems to be really nice. So uh, we'll, we'll fill it up with ink and see how that works. Uh, let's see here. I've chosen today, and this is a, a new ink for me. This is first impressions all the way around. My first Wing Sung medium nib, uh, first 698, and I have not used any of this ink yet either. So it's the Monteverde Yosemite Green. You know 
I like a green ink. I just think there ought to be more of it in the world. Although maybe not as much as I found when I took the plastic uh, seal off of this. I had to clean the bottle outside because there had been just a little bit of leak in transport. So put that there. Protect my desk. Where'd that pin go? Rolled under the tripod. Here we go. All right, so again, you pull this out because it has that little notch and stop. And I'm going to go ahead and, and push the air out. And then, if you've never used one of these before, it is very simple. I uh, can't get it all on camera, but you want to take that down to where the section is actually in the ink. Don't worry about that. That's not a problem. And you just Fill the pin. It's really a simple, reliable mechanism that I I like. And uh, let's see here. I find that notch here in a second. Well, I forgot to show you the rest of the pin. Let's take a look right quick. Here on the clip, it says "lucky." Depending on the, <laughs> I've got glare from a few different directions today, uh, but that says "lucky." It's a good, strong, stamped clip, and. The top of the cap, the finial, has that fan pattern. That's what I'm going to call it. And you can get this in either, I prefer silver, but you can get this in gold trim if you're a gold trim person. And that will be the clip, the finial, and this band here, and the band here. And uh, as I said, you can get it in solid colors as well. I think I saw the black with the gold trim. That was a good looking pen. Uh, and then it says wings for wing sung there. And, of course, Wing Sung in Chinese, and the 698 is the model number etched in. Again, I think I said it already, but I find it to be a well-put-together pen. So I'm impressed so far, but let's see how the pen actually writes. All right, so let's, uh, before we get into the writing test, let me, let me show you a little bit of this pen here. So that's the Wing Sung 698 that we're reviewing today, and I have to be clear because this is the Wing Sung 3000 and... 13, 3013, which uh, is another good Wing Sung demonstrator. This one has, here are the differences between the two. This one is a vac filled pen, and I've already reviewed this one, so I'll put a, uh, a link to that above. That one was purple that I reviewed, and I have it in clear and in blue and in purple and in green. <laughs> so that tells you how much I like that pen. This one is vac filled. This one is piston filled. There are some cosmetic differences. This has facets, if you like facets, in the cap. This one does not. Um, the uh, main difference, of course, is the, the mechanism in which they uh, fill, so or with which they fill. Then you have, for size comparison, a Twisby Eco, which a lot of you are familiar with. And uh, price-wise, this one is about two-thirds the cost of an Eco. Now, I'm a huge Eco fan, which, oddly enough, I've never reviewed on my channel, even though I've had it for probably a year. I, I don't know why I haven't done that, but I haven't done that. But I do really like this pen. Great quality uh, for the price, and I really do like it. And then there is uh, my, my newest pen that just came in over the weekend, and that is the Twisby AL580 uh, in Prussian blue. And I know you've seen that all over every pin channel there is, and this might feel like it was a bandwagon buy, but it wasn't. I actually put it off because I did not want to buy it just because everybody else had it. Uh, but I, I really like Prussian blue. What am I supposed to do? So eventually I gave in, but when I finally gave in, everyone was out of stock except for Twisby themselves. But I'll, I'll tell you more about that when I review that pen. I did get this one in a 1.1 stub nib, and so that's going to be a double whammy review as well, a different kind of a nib than I usually buy, and I can, I'll give you a preview. I'm really liking it. Uh, but that's the, the, all those pins are kind of, they're all about the same size. So, you know, again, that e Eco, if you've got one of those or have seen those, then you, you already have a good idea. Or if you have the Wing Sung 3013 or the 3008, uh, dimension-wise, they're all very similar. Uh, they just have different ways of filling or uh, this one is cosmetically very different from the 3008. And it is, this is a sturdier pin. Okay, I think this one is an upgrade in parts and materials from that 3008, which I'll also put a link to here. Love that pin too, but uh, this one is definitely an upgrade from that. So now, with all of that out of the way, 
let's see how the pen writes. And I'm as curious as you may be, or I might be more curious, you never know. So, whoops, there we go. The wing song. Six ninety-eight. I talked about so many numbers there. I almost forgot. And this is the medium. And this is a thick medium. I'm really kind of surprised by that. I expected it to be a little bit uh, thinner line, but I'm I'm digging that. And this is again the Monteverde, and it is the Yosemite Green. And if you've never been to uh, Yosemite. I'm going to have to move my tea, which is really hard to do because I'm going to get thirsty in a second. If you've never been to Yosemite, let me tell you, I've been a lot of places in this world. I could have, my daughter and I sat on a log, like a bump on a log, uh, in Yosemite Valley, looking at Half Dome and the forest around us, and there were deer, and, and, and there's a river behind us and all of that. And we're, we're just sitting there taking it all in. And maybe the, um, among some of the best five minutes of my life. Not the best, because there's also the birth of my two daughters, my, my marriage to my wife, and a few others that would rank higher. But in terms of places to be, man, there aren't many places I'd rather be. So, and I'm, I gotta say, I'm liking this green. I hadn't, hadn't tried that yet. Okay. I think you hear that. Now, sometimes my mic magnifies when I'm not talking. It magnifies the sound and and uh, makes it sound like there's more feedback than there really is. This is a really smooth nib, and I'm going to guess by looking quite wet. Oh yeah, that's a that's a little wet. So of course, wetness is always a function of both pen and ink. But this is laying down. A pretty good amount of ink so I would almost call this especially being from China I would almost call this a broad more than a medium don't know if that's all pins of this nib size from Wing Sung but this one Wow no trouble keeping up there with scribbling that for one uh, right here on camera I'm thinking Man, this has just become one of my favorite inks. Uh, there's there's some nice shading, and this is not an ink review. I'll do that later. But there is some nice shading in there, and my goodness, how saturated is this green? I'm loving that, and this is just a perfect pen to have put that in. So, uh, nice nib. I, the smoothness of this is just fantastic. Uh, I wish I had some. My mind, my mind is blank. I'm just going to write Yosemite again. Yeah, look at that. That's just fantastic. So the my first impression is, uh, I, re I really like this pen, and I like this nib, and I like this ink. You know, and, and after last week where I told you, you know, I was trying to tell you things I liked, but I, I kept thinking of things that I just kind of, you know, eh, on that last pen. This is like the opposite. I think I like everything about this. Uh, great pen, very good nib. Uh, from what I have read mostly it's been just comments uh people on you know fountain pen network and uh on reddit uh and then comments from you when i reviewed the last wingsung demonstrator um i hear a lot of fans talk about this pen now is it perfect uh no probably not but is it fantastic for the price yes my first impression is is so positive um it, you know, I, I hope it holds up, and from what I've read, it will. That's that's really good. So for a first impression review, uh, my thoughts are all positive. That nib was as smooth as could be, a little broader than I expected, and maybe I would have liked it to be just just a hair thinner, but I'm not going to worry about that. Very, very wet, um, but it suits this ink really well. So that's the Wing Song. 698 and uh, I think I'm gonna like this pen I don't make recommendations on first impressions but I think I'm gonna like this pen and uh, I invite you some of you have had this pen longer and you know you're like me you like to watch reviews of things you have so that you can hear somebody else say yeah you did you, you made a great decision right so that's what we do sometimes uh, 
Share in your comments below uh, what you think about this pen. If you've had some issues with it, you know, tell us that too. Uh, I know somebody said they had gotten this medium nib and they had had to do a little bit of tuning, and that's not, you know, that's not so unusual. But boy, this one is straight out of the box, fantastic, and I love that. That's always good. So worth the wait. That, that's a good pen. God bless you. Like, share, and subscribe, and have a great week.